some of the first things, the first words that Kelly said to me were, don't let this happen again. If any silver lining can shine through in this dark time, it's this, awareness around mental health challenges first responders face. This is an issue we need to discuss and we need to do it transparently. Cowlitz County Battalion Chief Mike Zanefeld's passing left a hole in this community. Uh, Mike was a friend that would give you the shirt off his back. Um, he was a fun, laughing, jovial person. His family and friends, like Jarl Peterson, want his death by suicide to help break the stigma. One firefighter say can stop people from seeking help. There's still the old school stigma of we're going to be tough guys and we can get through this and that's just not the case when you have to see the things that we see on a daily basis and the volume you see it in that it, it takes a toll. Mental health issues and trauma are rampant among America's first responders. They see death and destruction almost constantly. After tackling their own challenges, firefighters Stacy Poff and Andy Ogden are trying to get others to talk to each other about their struggles. Let people know that it's it's okay to not be okay. Poff even made these sweatshirts as part of an awareness campaign. And I'm just trying to give back and help my peers uh, that I know that are hurting as well um, to try to help navigate and get the help that they need. After Zanefeld's passing, it's even more pressing. We have to move forward and get into a place where we're comfortable having those conversations. They want their peers to know there is help out there, though navigating the system can be grueling. For Mike, finding some of the resources he needed was pretty difficult. Peterson feels there need to be more mental health resources for first responders. I think what we need to do moving forward is try to uh, identify better resources, better management for issues, uh, work environments that um, advocate for people coming forward and speaking about their issues and asking for help. Morgan Romero, KGW News.